Hello all. So if you have a Chevrolet 3.6 liter engine and you need to know what the firing order is and the cylinder location, along with which side of the engine is bank one and bank two, I thought I'd real quickly go over this and show what's going on with this engine. And this is gonna include many different vehicles. There is a few different variations on this engine, but the firing order and cylinder location at bank one and bank two, well, that's all gonna be the same across all of these. So whichever 3.6 liter variant that you have, it's going to be the same no matter which one it is. So to make this easier, I made up these diagrams. And this engine can be mounted sideways, called traverse, or it can be mounted straight. And so if you have a 3.6 liter and the engine's mounted straight, starting on the passenger side at the front of the engine is going to be 1, 3, 5. On the driver's side, it's going to be 2, 4, 6. Bank 1 is going to be on the passenger side, and Bank 2 is going to be on the driver's side. If you ever need to know what side of an engine is Bank 1 and Bank 2, just find the number one cylinder on that engine, and that side of the engine is always going to be Bank 1, and the opposite of that is going to be Bank 2. And the firing order for the Chevy 3.6 liter is really simple. It's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if you have a sideways mounted engine called Traverse, then the cylinder locations up against the firewall, starting on the passenger side, is going to be 1, 3, 5. Up at the front, it's going to be 2, 4, 6. Bank 1 side of the engine is going to be towards the firewall, and Bank 2 is going to be up towards the front. And again, the firing order for the Chevrolet 3.6 liter V6 engine is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If this video helps you, please click like.